So a while ago I started training to become a 10x engineer and for those of you that don't know what 10x engineer is, it's essentially a term that we've come up in the tech industry to describe someone that's basically 10 times more productive than your average engineer. It's also known as a ninja engineer and you know that in itself sounds cool but you know the whole thing is a pretty big deal. So I was coming towards the end of my training and one of the final pieces I was missing was basically upgrading my keyboard. So I decided to try out starting with a Apple Magic keyboard and you know that got me maybe 70-80% uh, of the way so I, you know I was playing around with 7 slash 8x engineer for a while and you know life was uh, it was pretty good um, but I thought I could do a bit better so I upgraded to a mechanical keyboard one with the lights and loud enough to make sure that everyone in the office knows that I'm doing lots of busy work and you know this took me right up to 10x engineer and at this point I was feeling pretty great I was enjoying the 10x lifestyle for a bit and then I got to thinking as all engineers do surely there's something I could do that could just push me one step ahead of the rest. So I thought if I could upgrade to a cooler and even louder keyboard, maybe, just maybe, I could push over the edge and become the world's first 11x engineer. So step number one, I went out and got myself a brand new keyboard. Now of course I couldn't use this as is, as a keyboard um, on any machine, but I was a 10x engineer at the time, so I thought I could definitely figure something out. So it's time to get to work. So I had to make a program that would take the notes that I'd be playing on the piano and essentially translate them into keystrokes that I'd usually be typing on a normal keyboard. Now most electronical instruments communicate or integrate with software using a standard called MIDI, which stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. And this is basically how it knows how to communicate with software. So I found a nice package on NPM called Easy MIDI, and this basically allows you to connect to different MIDI inputs and outputs. And it basically adds a listener to the instrument and sends you a message every time a note has been pressed. So with just a few lines of code, I could connect my piano to my machine, play a few notes and actually see some output. The next step was to figure out how to actually translate those into key presses and for that I used a tool called Robot.js. So Robot.js is basically a desktop automation tool so it allows you to basically automate anything that you can usually do manually things like moving the mouse or you know pressing the keyboard. Once this was integrated it would just be a case of listening to the note that I'd be playing on the piano and then using Robot.js to turn that into some sort of key. So the final step here was to basically figure out the mapping from piano to keyboard and I wanted the piano to feel somewhat similar so I tried to kind of group the different sections of the keyboard and place them together on the piano. That way I could maybe rely on a bit of muscle memory when typing and there would be a bit less of a learning curve. I also had to handle a few quirks. One of the main ones being um, how to handle basically the shift key uh, or any special key as a matter of fact. And my first thought when I was using the shift key was to use the foot pedal and that way I could free up my hands while typing. But then I had an even better idea. I could use the tone slash note bender thing on the left hand side of the keyboard and, and essentially that would create a slightly nicer listening experience to anyone that can hear me working. And finally with my program built I could use my new keyboard to write an app as the world's first 11x engineer. And this is how it sounded.
okay okay i guess that didn't quite sound as good as i was expecting it to but uh yeah give it a few more months and i'm sure it will start to sound lovely um in fact if you go back and rewatch just the programming bit on double speed uh, you might get an idea of how it might sound if uh, someone were actually fast at typing with the with the piano and it actually doesn't sound too bad that way either but um yeah i think i'm going to wrap the the video up here if you're at all interested in um you know the little tool that converts the piano to a keyboard let me know in the comments below and you know i'm happy to do a, a quick tutorial on how that works but um yeah this was a really fun project to work on again it's a slightly different style um, than what i'm used to so if you enjoy this kind of content please consider subscribing and um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.